For more on this, we're going to bring an adjunct professor at Montclair State University, Dan Geltrude. Good morning, Dan. Okay, so everyone is waiting for the Fed to finally cut those rates. Uh, how exactly will that affect future market performances? Well, I think we're all but certain that there's going to be a rate cut, whether it's a quarter point or half point. It's just a matter of what it's going to be. I think the impact of that is going to be more money moving into the stock market. The reason I say that is because as uh, rates drop, investors are going to be looking for higher rates of return. Right now, there's about six trillion with a T uh, dollars on the sideline waiting to be invested. So I think once we see a drop in rates, we're going to see that movement into the market. That will definitely buoy the market, and I think uh, I think there's going to be a lot of uh, upside to that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, moving on to a completely different topic. So documents written by President Ronald Reagan have gone up for sale. So the Rab Collection Bay in Ardmore, Pennsylvania, lists the mem memorabilia for a total estimated value of $80,000. The letters in question were written between 1952 and 1993, touching on Reagan's faith, friendships, crisis handling throughout his career as president, governor, and, of course, actor. Um, <laughs> Damn, do you think anyone's going to want Biden's 70 years from now? Well, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess it all depends on where the value is. But look, as far as Ronald Reagan goes, Reagan is an icon. Mm. I mean, in fact, he's the reason that I registered as a Republican. So wow. there's a demand for collectibles. And as it pertains to Reagan, you know, he was a pretty private person. So mm. anytime you're going to be able to get some insight into his thoughts and and what he wanted for himself, his country, his family, and so on, I think there's real value there. Yeah, he definitely talked a lot about his faith. He's been very critical, actually, about the government. And I was talking to Hillary yesterday. One of his fa famous quotes is, uh, government is the problem, not the answer. Um, okay, so back to school shopping. Uh, it's set to cost Americans a staggering $39 billion this year due to a slew of factors, including inflation, higher cost of goods and services. Last year, it was even more, reaching a record $41.5 billion, according to the National Retail Federation. Families, I mean, they're really just having to adjust their budgets to accommodate the higher costs associated, which is going back to school. Uh, Dan, this is also extremely frustrating when you see these illegal immigrants getting all of these handouts. You know, I just read yesterday, Gavin Newsom wants to give illegals in California $150 million towards down payments, kind of following in the footsteps of Oregon there. Uh, what do you tell these, these just average parents who are worried about spending that money when their kids go back to school? Well, this back-to-school spending is really a necessity, so it's something that you have to do. Now, how do you approach it? You have to set up a budget, and you also have to look for deals. Uh, that's part of the key. Of You, you have to be frugal here and uh, try to make your dollars go as far as they possibly can. Also, keep in mind, there is a staggering level of personal debt out there. So I don't want to see people going into more debt for this. I want to see them adjust their spending accordingly, make sure these kids get what they need to get back to school. Yeah, and I've also I've said this before. I think one of the biggest tips I have is kind of wait. Wait and see what your child is actually going to need. Because I remember my entire life, they're like, we need construction paper. We need all of these art supplies. We never used any of it. So maybe wait and see. <laughs> wait for the first week of school and then see what the teachers actually need. Um, Dan Geltrude, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Such a pleasure having you on. Thanks, Alex. All right.